Hello amigos, bienvenidos a mi canal, soy Kelsey and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my biggest pet peeves. Now before I get triggered talking about them in this intro, let's just get into it, okay? I don't know why I'm so nervous to talk about this. I just, because I don't want people to judge me for why I get so irritated and triggered, but we all have our pet peeves, right? Okay, so my number one biggest pet peeve, and when this happens to me, I get super like, mm, is oblivious people in the store. When I'm down an aisle and they're just standing in the middle of the aisle, their cart's in the middle, and they're just like off looking at something, and they have no idea that I'm trying to get through. Like, my peripheral vision is pretty strong. I feel like I can see someone, you know, walking by me trying to get through, but I just feel like everyone in a store just has no idea. Like, move, please. Another pet peeve is when I'm driving, and this happens quite a bit, but you know, I've learned to be, just be patient with life. But anyway, um, it's when I let someone pass through, like whether they're coming out of a driveway, a parking spot, or on the freeway, you know, I let them come through because I think good karma, you know, if I let them pass, someone else is going to let me pass in the future, and they don't wave at me. I'm just like, you know what? I didn't have to let you through. A nice little wave, you know? I'm the type of person who will like roll down my window and like wave like super obnoxiously like thank you for letting me come through. I appreciate you. But just I guess people don't think like I do. It's whatever. Okay, another pet peeve which I've mentioned in videos before, um, if you're my friend you know this about me, is touching. I just don't like when people touch me. And it's a very specific touch that just gets me so like... <sighs> please get off of me. It, a lot of it is when someone's like linking arms with me and they're like playing with my elbow, like right here. They'll like link arms and they're just kind of like, you know, just little, little like tappy tap. I just like, ugh, I just want to punch you. Like, please just don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Thank you. Uh, another one, which I am very obvious about, I'm sorry. This is just how I grew up and I think you know, we all have our different, we all have our different views on certain things in life, but mine just has, oh god, I'm getting, I'm getting really irritated right now thinking about it. Um, it is grammar. I, I have to admit, I am a grammar Nazi. Um, I don't correct my friends on grammar all the time. Maybe if you're like really close to me and you're like asking me about something, like I'll, co I'll correct you a little bit, but I just, oh man, like I, I don't know how some people post captions that they do and, and they don't proofread it. I think they just don't know. You know, maybe like people toss a coin like which your should I use, which their should I use, and like they just go for it. But even when I'm not thinking and just typing something out, I know which one to use. I just, I don't know what's wrong with our education system today that everyone just loses their memory and their knowledge of grammar. Just, I feel like it's kind of important. You know, you got your resume, a cover letter, a text message to your friend, captions on social media. I just, I'm... Okay, another pet peeve that happens sometimes, you know, it's only me and my grandma using the bathroom, so I'm just going to say it's not me doing this, um, is when someone leaves one toilet paper square on the toilet roll. Do you, do you think that, like... I'm gonna get the job done with one square, like, just toss it out. Another pet peeve, which I think this is just me, like, constantly working in theme parks. I've worked at two, it's not like I've worked at 500. Anyway, is when people, and even when I go to Disneyland and watch this happen, I'm just like, ugh, is when people climb over ropes. The correct protocol is just to open the chain, walk through, put the chain back. That's the safest way, or go under it. But when you go over it, that is just more room for you to get hurt. And I'm just, I guess I'm just a caring person and I don't wanna see you crack your skull open. Please just open the ropes up and go through. It's a safety hazard, thank you. And I think I'm speaking for all of us teenagers, kids, young adults living at home. When your mom comes into the room Great, she's talking to you, telling her about her day. Love you, mom. Love you. And then when they leave, they don't close the door. It's so annoying to me. And when I yell, can you close the door? And she comes back and she closes it, but she leaves like an inch open. Can 
can you please close the door? Thank you so much. Love you so much. Thank you. Anyway, that's gonna conclude it for my pet peeves. If you guys have a similar pet peeves, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your pet peeves, honestly, because it's really interesting to hear what, uh, what trigger other people, you know? I'm just trying to know if I'm just like super extra or if these are pretty valid. I think they're pretty valid. Oh, I want to add these necklaces. Aren't they so cute? Let's get a little zoom in, zoom in, okay? Oh, hunty. Look how cute these are, right? Beautiful, right? Well, Oh. These necklaces are from a brand called Rocky Store. Um, you can get them on rockystore.com. I'll leave a link down below to it. And I'm also an ambassador for their jewelry brand. And let me just tell you, the owner of the jewelry company went to school with me at Cal State Fullerton. And her profile, like her personal profile, was just so inspiring to me. Just like the way her aesthetic is, the way she takes pictures, I just find it so great and so I started following her jewelry brand which is Rocky Store and she creates bomb jewelry like I think it's so cute and I love chokers and I love like dainty jewelry and that's exactly what it is so I became an ambassador for her jewelry brand you could use the code KelseyJ20 for 20% off your purchase and it ships super fast anyway this is a shameless plug because you know I'm just including it in my video but I'll probably talk about it more again but anyway yes I'll leave a link information all that down below about these necklaces okay okay but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video see you in my next one bye